Maritime transport has a vital strategic and social role in Europe. It helps to ensure the free movement of goods and people within the EU and it plays a key role in our economy. At the center of all this activity is maritime safety. The Erika and the Prestige accidents, devastating as they were, triggered a substantive reform in the existing EU safety regime. Today, the European Union has one of the most robust maritime safety systems in the world. In Europe, global standards are transposed into law by member states. The EU also contributes directly to the initiation and the development of standards at international level. And, in certain circumstances, it adds safety requirements for ships flagged to EU member states and operating to or from EU ports, irrespective of the flag. Crucial to this legislative framework is the verification of its implementation through visits carried out by EMSA on behalf of the European Commission, as well as inspections of recognized organizations and field inspections to assess the education, certification and training systems in third countries. Safety is the basis for all shipping. From the moment a new vessel is planned, the preparation, design, construction and certification of a ship are all rooted in safety. But once the ship sets sail, safety challenges arise. The human element is at the heart of safe shipping. Here in the EU and internationally, well-trained seafarers are vital to ensuring maritime safety by reducing accidents. But the seafarer workforce is aging and fewer young people are choosing to join the maritime sector. Also aging are some categories within the EU fleet, particularly passenger ships on domestic routes. And some ships are getting bigger, container ships in particular. This means that safety is even more of a concern if fire breaks out in the inner containers. Another safety issue can occur if containers are lost overboard. High quality marine equipment supports the safe operation of a ship and saves lives if accidents occur. In the EU, the Marine Equipment Directive aims to ensure that equipment on EU member state flagged ships is designed and constructed to appropriate standards. EMSA supports this through the MED portal, the reference database for products certified under the directive. In an interconnected and digital maritime world, cyber risks are also a safety threat to the operation of modern ships. At international and at industry level, guidelines have been developed to tackle this issue. Work is now underway to enable the delivery of cyber resilient ships, which can be cyber secure all their operational lives. Flag state inspections are the first line of defense in maritime safety. These inspections are a key part of the entire maritime safety framework. Many flag states assign ship inspection duties to recognized organizations, classification societies working on behalf of the states. The second line of defense is port state control, which is designed to avoid substandard shipping. The high performance of port state control inspectors is a pillar of the EU's maritime safety system. They carry out more than 14,000 inspections every year, despite a forced slowdown during the COVID-19 pandemic. But accidents do still happen at sea. Overall, however, the number of accidents here in the EU has stabilised. Member states report their accident data through the European Maritime Casualty Information Platform managed by EMSA. From EMSIP, analysis is drawn on ways to tackle the causes of certain categories of incidents. Although good progress has been made on maritime safety here in the EU, many challenges still remain. Safety link sustainability challenges include those involving alternative fuels and electrification. The increasing size of passenger ships could also present safety issues in the future, with more people on board making evacuation challenging in the event of an incident. 
Greater automation will bring new opportunities for the maritime industry, but it will also bring safety challenges and new training and qualification requirements for those working on automated vessels ashore. But whatever the future brings, safety will always remain at the heart of the maritime transport sector.